What's going on guys, well we're just back again with another match review for you guys where Chelsea have just drawn 1-1 against Wolves. Before I get into the video, I hope you enjoy this new camera quality. The audio should be fine as well and hopefully everything's right. And if you enjoy my content, please do smash the like button, get me to at least 100 likes and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification to stay all true more white shows. Thanks to everyone that's been supporting the channel and for the feedback and stuff. Hopefully the quality and everything gets even better on this channel now. So I saw a live stream on Lauren's channel, make sure you do check out as well. It is on my Twitter, I've shared it many times. So yeah, I was speaking with him, I was saying, I'm not fully angry, but we didn't deserve to win either. Because we had many shots, but I don't think they were clear enough. The first half was very boring. We didn't have any intensity, we didn't you know, push forward, we didn't try as hard. Um, fair play to Wolves. They had nine points before this game against top six teams, the most outside top six against any top six. And for me, it was very difficult. It was very difficult. I was I thought we would win, but Wolves were very disciplined. They stuck to the game plan. They got one chance. They scored from that chance. You know, I can't blame everyone. I was blaming Louise for the chance, and then I looked at Emerson not tracking back. And, you know, there's many problems with that goal. And I can't pick out anyone. It was just one of those days. Now the positives from this was the subs. You know, Hassan Doe came on, Loftus Cheek came on. You know, Hassan Doe came on before William, and Loftus Cheek came on instead of Welkley. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about these moves. Obviously, it is positive, but do you think Sorry made it for a reason? Maybe because he would have been under pressure with his role at Chelsea if we did didn't get a result. And I feel. Even with these changes, nothing really changed. Only the intensity improved a bit, but there weren't any clear cut chances, let's be honest. And Hazard, for me, you know, he didn't have a great game, but this is why he's a special player, because he just needs one chance, he'll create himself, and it's a brilliant goal. And he saved us a point. I'll, I'll probably look back at this in May and say, yeah, we didn't beat Wolves, but this one point from Hazard might save us. You know what I'm saying? So, Arsenal and United playing now. Let's see what happens. Hopefully a draw. Um, but there's a long way to go. And I think fatigue, the preparations, they are all kicking in for teams right now. Because I don't think any team is playing perfect. But we've got Everton next week away. And you never know what you're going to get with Everton. You know, they bottled the 2-0 lead against Newcastle and they lost 3-2. But I guess Chelsea, they do well past history. And it could happen again. So, for me today... The performance wasn't good, but I feel we weren't that bad in terms of getting destroyed, dominated, we should have lost 2 or 3-0. It's just Wolves came with a game plan, stuck to a game plan, and we couldn't break it down. As simple as that. And some of the players that start, some of the players at the club are just not good enough. And this is why we need to get this top four, and hopefully the band gets taken off and we can sign certain players to help move forward. But I do agree, lots of Sheik, Hassan Doe should be starting. Hopefully, this happens from now on. Now, um, Emerson, I'm, I'm going to talk about Emerson. I feel, as Chelsea fans, we overrate him so much because we don't want Alonso to play, personally. That's what I feel. He's better than Alonso offensively, but I just feel we overrate him so much because we just want him to play. We don't want Alonso to play. It's as simple as that. And I feel he done... Okay, he was trying a lot more going forward because I don't think he could have done as much because Kovacic for me in the final third isn't good enough. There's no goals in him, there's no chances in him and this is why Loftus-Cheek needs to be playing and being more direct. Do you know what I'm saying? So you have to have the right team. So the players that came on before William, that first 11 is the best first 11 we can have. Yeah, And it's just frustrating because... Sorry, selection. Like he just, he just got to do it. Like you're doing some of these right moves, but you got to play off the sheet now. Like we want to see this now because Barkley's not playing, but Kovacic ain't gonna help you off the ball. He's decent, but in a game like this, we need to be moving forward. And for me, Higuain's movement today was okay in the first half, but I feel he was, he was invisible. He didn't make himself out there. And even though there were so many players defend defending against him, for me, he could have done a bit more. Like, his link-up play wasn't that good in my eyes, and I think Giroud could have been doing better there. Do you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I prefer Higuain over Giroud, but personally, for me, 
he should have been doing better in my eyes. But like I said, guys, it's a point. I'm not gonna be writing about players that done so bad. It's just a team performance that wasn't up to scratch. But like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please do smash the like button. New camera settings. Shout out to my boy Souls for hooking it up. Uh, but yeah, got a tripod. Everything. Hopefully, everything's better for you guys now. And let me know in the comments below. Are you fully disappointed with the result? Because personally, for me, I'm about 50-50. I'm not too, too angry about it. I feel, I'm not celebrating it, but I think later on in the season, we'll look back at it and say it was a vital point. But yeah, like I said, guys, make sure you subscribe, press the bell notification to stay all true while I chose. And I'll see you again on Thursday for the review. And just to let you guys know, I'll be meeting the Chelsea players on Tuesday. So I might be doing a vlog there. Make sure you check out this channel as well, man. While I chose, I'm out. Peace.